view myself more as an orchestra conductor than a demander. Pat Gallagher, Chairman, President, and CEO of Arthur J. Gallagher and Company. Pat was named President in 1990 and CEO in 1995, the third consecutive Gallagher generation of ownership in the company since its founding in 1927. Arthur J. Gallagher and Company now operates in 130 countries with nearly 40,000 employees and boasts an annual revenue of over $7 billion, all while being named one of the world's most ethical companies for 11 straight years. Pat sat down with us to talk about topics ranging from the insurance industry to his leadership style. View myself more as an orchestra conductor than a, than a demander. We've got a lot of personalities, that's one of the fun things about coming to work, but getting everybody focused, as I said, to get the organization moving exactly where we want to be, at the pace and time that we want to be there, that's a challenge. I think probably the biggest one is that with the right people, with everybody around a table that has the same ambition for the company, you can actually get through anything. When I came to work full time in 1974, I asked my grandfather for his one bit of advice. And he said, Patrick, plan your work and work your plan. I've never forgotten that, and it's the best advice I ever got. To me, it's about whether someone can be a team player. And whether or not they're an extrovert, an athlete, a man, a woman, whatever, that, that really doesn't play a lot in my consideration. It's, are they someone who takes this job seriously, wants to do it, is excited about it, and can work in a team? I will make the point that it's the most important industry on the planet. Oh, that's crazy, it's boring, you know, it's a, no, 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 step back. Right now, what are we hearing about? Supply chains, automobile manufacturers can't get chips, et cetera, et cetera. You don't ship a container ship without insurance. You don't build a building without insurance. You don't start a company without workers' comp insurance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. At the same time, not only is it important, it's huge. It's, it's, a, it's an industry that literally supports trade on a global basis and makes people's individual investments secure. Every single day, We've got to get down in our stance and get ready to look across the line and figure out how we're going to take the ball away from the other team. And that's not easy, but it's fun. And I think that uh, those people that are motivated by that, energized by that, are strategizing around that. And at the core of that is doing what's right for a client. When I first came aboard in 1966, as a file boy after eighth grade, we were 23 people. And so, literally, I could sit in his chair and he would tease about how's that feel? I mean, isn't this, isn't this wonderful to be around this office? And he loved the business and I think he inspired us as a group to join a business that was critically important to our clients. He understood that, was creative enough to find places where you could really do things differently, which is what put us where we are today, and, and at the same time have fun. I came, as I said, to work in, in 66 at 14 years old, and I just liked the people. I was an intern in, in 72 and 73. I started full-time in 74. We had about 150 people. That year, we finished the year at $6 million. And from that, we grew into a publicly traded company, uh, going on the New York Stock Exchange uh, in 87, after coming public in 84. We finished 1984 with a $79 million market capitalization. Uh, today, we've you know, touched as high as $35 billion. There's about $6 trillion worth of premium globally, and it's employing hundreds of thousands of people. And you look at that and you go, wow, boy, that could be stagnant. It's not stagnant. It grows with the world economy. So what that provides is opportunity for people to keep growing in their career. So you take a guy like myself that comes aboard with his dad and uncles, you know, we've got $6 million in revenue, 150 people, and you turn around 50 years later, a $35 billion market capitalization, 42,000 people, and the message I always give to our folks is, frankly, we're just getting started, and that's true. So 
That's the thing I always preach to young people looking at our industry is opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Ethics is critically important to us as individuals and to us as a company. It's at the cornerstone, it's at the essence of what we do in the insurance world, protecting clients from terrible outcomes. And it is what gives people who want to join us faith that when we tell them we think things are going to happen because we're working on them, we actually work in that direction to make it happen. Yes, I got a, a lot of stuff I like to do. I didn't realize it when I started having them, but grandchildren are a hobby, and they're my favorite hobby. Uh, but after grandchildren, I like to read, I like to ski, and I, and I like to bird hunt. Well, I'd start back with my grandfather. It, it, anybody starting out today has to know what they're about. So what is the plan? What's the, what, are you, what, what problem are you solving? Why am I going to want to trade with you? I love Chicago because it is the greatest city on the planet. We've got great people, we've got great restaurants, we've got a great lakefront, it's the best. My favorite two Chicagoans are my grandfather Gallagher and my grandfather Sheridan. Favorite team is the Cubs. Love all the rest of them, and I'm actually a Cubs guy that roots for the Sox.